Remember my parents who used to go to the theatre a lot, coming back when this new musical called Miss Saigon opened and they, they were raving about it, saying it's the greatest thing they'd ever seen. They said, you've got to go and see it. So they took me to see Miss Saigon. And I remember being blown away by it. Now it's coming back. Of all my shows, this is the one which has been seen the least of the four great musicals that I've done, that I've had for years people saying, when are you going to bring Miss Saigon? When are you going to bring it back? Whichever's the most, it's whatever's the most comfortable for you to really button the number at that point. We're actually on our fourth week of our rehearsals, and um, we've been doing a lot of things from dancing to singing to acting, and uh, it's really emotional. We came from all over the the, the globe. I think it's 18 countries. When you have people from different countries put in one place, it becomes a family. Either, you know, you get together to succeed or, you know, the other. In the rehearsal room, you're on top of the show. And when you get into the theater, you see it from a much further perspective. And all of a sudden, you see so much more. So when you get into the theater, you do a lot of restaging, a lot of focusing, a lot of pinpointing what you want the audience to see. The reason I reimagine these shows is because I love the material. I am not going to do anything to betray uh, the original production. And a new audience coming to see this will approach it as if it's never been done before. We have our own built-in meter as to how good it has to be within us because we're the last people to not want it to be wonderful. You know, being someone that spent his entire life working in music radio, I think part of the reason I love some of the really classic musicals is because they tell some of the story with amazing songs. And Miss Saigon has some really beautiful, incredible songs. They're not fantasies, they're all based on real problems, real pieces of history that happen. I think Miss Saigon resonates so much because the, the conflict of war, different political points of view, stay with us and it may be more relevant now than ever. Miss Saigon is an incredibly powerful love story and it's about two ordinary people that have been caught up in extraordinary circumstances. It's also about a mother and what a mother will do to sacrifice for her child. It's a wonderful mix of two of the most powerful human emotions with an amazing score by Bubin and Schoenberg.